a great partnership can achieve great things today we revisit a partnership that played a defining role in dalmia's transformation into the fastest growing cement group in india it's the partnership between kkr arguably the largest and most respected private equity firm in the world and dalmia bharat a 75 year old business group in india it is this partnership that powered dalmia's journey into one of the most attractive wealth creators in india what brought us together was that deep down we shared the same values dalmia's values of learning teamwork speed excellence and transparency became the defining pillars of our partnership with kkr you know the kkr uh, dalmia story is probably one of the best uh, we have had until date you build relationship for the long term when they entered dalmia dalmia was a 9 million ton company and when they exited dalmia we were a 25 million ton company their ability uh, to deal with and to show us high level picture and get zoomed down into the minutest details so i think that was a brilliant combination of the two what we saw in dalmia was two great things we saw a family committed to growing this business and i'll never forget you know when i asked him you know what is it he expects from us and i told him that um, you know henry i want your time so he told me that please be careful what you ask for you might actually get it not only did i enjoy giving uh punit the time and and I'd always try to see Puneet when I'd go to India but he came to New York quite often with the express purpose of sitting down with me and we liked what we saw i think these were people with uh, humility these were people with a lot of culture and values when uh, kkr invested in us basically that was mainly on trust and values which they could see in dalmia family and more particularly mr puri dalmia and when they worked with us they could feel that yes trust begets trust also really influenced professionalism in the board they influenced uh, timely information available to the board and the board members a healthy debate and a discussion on every issues these are people that we can absolutely get along with we can help each other we are in this as a as as a group and as a, as a real team and working together that was critical i think we had our ups and downs we have uh, you know but you know this happens in any partnership i think what really counted here was the trust and the mutual respect we had for each other as we tackled uh, every such point of inflection even if they don't agree to a decision they said that if you think it's right go ahead and do it and that's tremendous what they brought onto the table was extreme professionalism they acted more as a catalyst how you get somebody else perspective who is not fully uh, in the business but have his skin in the business it was the two way partnership when you had a promoter who was in a way forward looking aggressive and was very clear about the ambitions of growth even before the investment uh, was made uh, there was very clear about what are the big value creators in the next 5 to 7 years and also a short term 100 day plan they brought rigor into the process they were very keen on ensuring that everything is documented system oriented process driven that goes in and helps them with their 100 day plan it helps them put metrics in the business punit had a great vision to you know grow fast and he is quite aggressive so with that aggression normally one tends to lose many controls so kkr had all through been acting as a balancing factor in this having a partner like kkr also help bring speed 
you know, into the decision-making process because lots of times the decisions have to be taken very, very quickly. We would like to see ourselves of really building a great institution with the ability to move very quickly as the situation demands. At one time, uh, we used to be uh, amongst the top three players in this industry. We were very keen to kind of regain that position. They were one of our first investee companies in Asia to join what we call our green portfolio, to focus on emissions, to focus on their carbon footprint, to focus on environmental policies, to really make the business more competitive. The goal of to be one of the most respected and uh, appreciated company in the cement sector, not only in India, but globally. They've built the scale, they've got the consolidation in their core markets to take advantage of what I think is going to be a much more interesting next 10 years for them. Our bigger ambition, our larger ambition is to help build a great nation rather than just build an organization. You build a great nation, uh, it automatically builds a great organization. There was a lot of investing in the relationship uh, from both, but I'm talking of investing in a relationship. We were completely transparent. It is a highly cyclical industry, and we did go through a very significant downturn in the cement industry uh, in the first two to three years of our investment. And without that level of transparency, partnership, and open communication, I don't think you could have navigated that environment as well as Domi did, ultimately. I did not see much teething trouble, and there was a lot of transparency and trust from day one. I was sad when we ended up selling uh, our last piece. And I said to Praneet after, I said, Praneet, we've now sold our position and that's part of what our business is. And I hope we'll stay in touch. And the door is always open as far as I'm concerned. I really met people who are great leaders and very gracious human beings and um, exceptionally remarkable businessmen also. So I think it's personally been very enriching for me. I've made some great friendships and these will last a lifetime. That they've got a great future. I remember them when they were one of our children. And look at them today. I would like to look back and say, I remember when.